I did a poll over on my community page asking you guys what you wanted to see next. And you guys said that you were really interested in seeing my contemporary handbag collection. So that, my dear friends, is what we're dipping into today. We're gonna start out with this beauty right here. This is a bag, I think I've only worn it once, <clears throat> excuse me, because it is very, very seasonal, but it's so beautiful, you guys. I just had to hang on to it. It sits in my closet because again, it's very seasonal, and then once you see the shape of it, you're going to understand. It doesn't really sit on the shelf very well. So here is the bag. Let me go ahead and put all of this down. It's from the brand Garate. I'm saying that completely incorrect, you guys, but it is a bag that was sent to me last year and I really, really like it. I think it's really cool and edgy, but also very elegant. You can wear it on your shoulder. You can wear it cross body or it has an attachment where you can actually wear it as a top handle. The attachment I don't like quite as much because it is a little bit flimsy. Let me share it with you guys. But it is very, very beautiful. So if you were dressed up, you definitely could wear it as a top handle bag. I think it's perfect for the holidays. I think it's going to be perfect for New Year's Eve, those types of situations. And I really look forward to using it. So hopefully I will be able, you know, maybe on my birthday this year, you guys. My birthday's coming up in September. I may have to find an outfit that will go perfectly with this bag because I think it's really, really cute and I really like it. Next up is this little bag here. This is from Naomi Crafted. All of the bags that I have in today's video, I will try to link down below for you guys if they are available. This is a Kelly style bag, but it's not a Kelly bag. I like the pattern on it and I like the fact that it is green and black because I really like to wear green and black in the winter months. I've only used this a handful of times, but when I did use it, I did find it to be quite annoying. Not the bag quality is annoying, the bag itself, the style of bag. It's very, very hard to get in and out of. See, I'm struggling right now, and it's hot as a mofo in here, so I'm sweating to death. But it's really hard to use, so I think that I would just use it like this and let it pop open like that. But like I said, I've used it a handful of times. I did only use it for work. I haven't had an occasion to dress it up, but I think it's a really cute bag. And if you're itching for that Kelly style bag, but you don't want to fish out that kind of money or you're having a hard time getting your hands on it because of the Hermes game, then I do recommend this one because she is a beauty. Okay, sticking with the dupe theme, I'm gonna share with this one with you guys and then we're going to jump over to some of my coach handbags. So this is a dupe, it's not a replica. I actually ordered this because I was considering saving up for the Birkin and I wanted to see if the style worked for me. You guys, I gotta do the millennial tuck. Anybody else, are you millennials out there? Do you feel like you need to do the French tuck, especially in a baggy outfit? We're gonna rock it for the rest of this video. However, I ended up buying this, it was like $150. It is good quality, the leather feels nice on the outside, the inside feels a little waxy, which is kind of strange. I think it's absolutely beautiful, but because it's so close to a replica, I can't really bring myself to use it. I did use it last week one time, and other than that, I think I've used it one time. So I'll probably end up gifting this to my mother-in-law or a friend, but the thing that I learned is that at the time when I first bought this, I really felt like a Birkin wasn't for me. This is the size 30. Now I'm leaning towards maybe possibly a Birkin is for me, you guys. So I may go on a journey to save up for a pre-loved Birkin. We'll see, I'm not 100% decided, but right now I'm really enjoying the style and I'd probably go for a Birkin 30 in a fun color, but this is a dupe. This was my tester and I have been pulling her out. Well, I did one time just to see, do I really like this style? And I think that I really do. Doesn't it suit me? I feel like it suits me, you guys. This size, the style, I think it's really cool. I've seen it dressed really edgy and really um, my style dressed down and I really, really like it. Okay, let's jump into some coach. This is my little beauty here. This is my coach Tabby 20 in the silver hardware. They did just recently re-release the silver hardware, so I'll have it linked down below for you guys. I know a few of you guys have told me that you've been looking for it. I love this bag, you guys. The quality is so, so 
good. I will say because the leather is so thin and so soft, I have noticed that mine has some scratches on it and that's definitely a downfall for me. But this is the perfect date night bag or the perfect bag for places where you have to have a size limit where the bag can't be over a certain amount of inches. It's usually about eight inches. This bag is perfect for that. I usually carry inside of here my cards inside of this little flap here so that I don't have to carry a card holder. You can carry a card holder as well. Then I will put my sunglasses in one flap, my um, phone in another flap, and I do have the iPhone 13 Pro Max and it fits inside of here. And then in the back pocket, I will put my keys and then I will also put a lippy inside of here. So it does hold all of your date night essentials. I don't use this bag too often because it is so tiny. It doesn't fit my daily essentials, but it does fit my date night essentials. So it does have a good place in my collection. It's not going anywhere as of now, and I really love the style of this bag. All right, let's switch it up and do something a little bit different than Coach. This is my Kala Jade bag. I recently did an unboxing about this bag, and I really, really like it. I like it so much so that I think I'm gonna go ahead and order the medium size. I shared with you guys that when I ordered the large, I did want a large handbag, but I didn't realize it was gonna be this large. And unfortunately, you guys, it is, too hard to send it back. I'm not gonna jump through all the loops to send it back because it is from a different country. There's just more policies to sending it back. So I actually use this as a gym bag. Now, I don't only use it for a gym bag. That sounds a little crazy, I know. I use it for when I need to go to work and I need to carry my lunch box, my gym clothes, my gym shoes, and my everyday essentials. This is the bag that I use. You can carry a top handle, which is how I prefer to carry it. You can also carry it on your shoulder with the shoulder strap. This is not removable and not adjustable, which is such a bummer because honestly, you guys, the strap is really uncomfortable, the shoulder strap. So I don't foresee myself ever using the shoulder strap and it's just too big of a bag to wear it on your shoulder. You can also do crossbody, but then you've got the tabs up high. So I just carry it as a top handle maybe possibly maybe thinking about cutting these straps out although i find that it doesn't take up so much room that it gets in the way it also comes with an insert this little guy here that you can take out which makes the bag lighter so this bag is a little bit on the heavy side because it has so much leather to it but you can remove the little insert and then it will make it lighter I find that it's actually not too heavy, especially for the occasions that I use it. When I'm carrying it to work, I just set it down in my office. When I carry it to the gym, I just put it inside of the locker and I think it's perfect, but I would love to have one in an everyday size, possibly even in a brown color. So don't be surprised if you guys see a brown one of these added to my collection in a smaller size. Okay, let's go ahead and jump over to Naomi Crafted again, you guys. I've had several of Naomi Crafted bags and I really enjoy her bags. I can't keep them all, so I don't keep them all. I just keep my favorites. And this little cutie is one of my favorites. It's not the most practical bag, you guys. She is tiny and dainty, but really cute. I can fit my iPhone Pro Max inside of here, believe it or not, and a card holder a key pouch and a lipstick and that's about all you're going to fit inside of here it does come with an, a, a crossbody strap so you just open this up and then you attach this to this side and it becomes a crossbody bag but i've only used this bag one time i used it for a date night i will pop a photo for you guys and it was perfect because they did have a size requirement at the time and I felt like it looked so cute with my dress and it's just so dainty and feminine and I really, really like it. So it is definitely one of those bags that I don't use all the time, but when I can use it, I do really enjoy it. Let's talk about my absolute favorite out of all of these handbags that I am mentioning today. This is my favorite contemporary handbag, you guys. This is from the brand Dress Up Your Purse. I have intentionally not signed up for their affiliate link because I want you guys to understand just how much I love these bags. I don't make any commission talking about these bags whatsoever. Any of the bags that I'm talking about today at all, I don't make any commission. But this bag, I just freaking love it. If you guys are on the fence about ordering a Pochette Matisse, 
get this bag it is so so good it comes with two straps a leather one and a canvas one it's extremely comfortable it has the three compartments just like louis vuitton does it has thick luxurious leather it's got the microfiber interior it doesn't have any glazing on the outside instead she has done a leather piece which i will share close-ups with that close-ups of that for you guys and then it has a zipper compartment. It's styled exactly like the Pochette Matisse, but it is from Dress Up Your Purse. It has her branding on it, her logo on it. Nothing about it is Louis Vuitton, and I just really, really enjoy it. I even think that this is better quality than the Louis Vuitton one, and I have owned the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse, and I sold it. Okay, let's go ahead and jump over to my Lee Tanner bag. I only own one bag from him, and you guys, I, was, I had my heart set on a different bag, but I thought it was going to be hard to use, so I got this bag instead. I will say I wish I would have gone with the bag that I actually wanted instead of this one, but this is very lightweight and it's comfortable to use. I like the rolled handles, and I like the fact that you can tuck these handles inside of the bag, which makes it so that you can turn it into a crossbody bag and the handles are not sticking up into your bosom, just like so and you can do that on both sides. So there's a lot of pros about this bag. I just wish I would have went with the one that I actually wanted. I can see myself possibly ordering the one that I actually wanted in the future and probably getting rid of this one if I'm honest with you guys. I haven't had time to really use it. I've used it twice, but I haven't had time to really use it, enjoy it, and fall in love with it. So we'll see what ends up happening, but I do feel like this particular bag feels a little bit waxy. I think it's just because I went for the perforated leather. I think the one that I actually wanted, which I'll pop up on the screen for you guys, um, wouldn't feel this way. But if you guys own any Lee Tanner bags, let me know, do they all feel like this? Because if they do, I would be very, very disappointed. Alrighty, let's jump back over to Coach. This is my Coach Raya backpack. I intend on cutting the straps off, you guys. I haven't done it yet because I've just been lazy, honestly. I've had a lot going on in my personal life, so I haven't done it yet, but I do intend to. I think that this bag would work better for me as a bucket bag than a crossbody bag. Look at that. That's my deodorant, you guys. Can you see deodorant all over that thing? So I will put it on for you guys so you guys can see what it looks like, but I think that I will definitely cut the straps off eventually and make this into a crossbody bag. I think it's really cute. I do like it. I do enjoy it. It's just, yeah, I think that if I added a crossbody strap here, let me do it with my Louis Vuitton one. I do have one from DGAZ, but I have to fish it out of my closet and I don't want to do that right now. So let's go ahead and put this one on here and I'll show you guys. That bag doesn't like to stay up, so let's just put it like that. So how I intend to do it is either hooking it on here, the top handle, and cutting the other strap off, and then carrying it like so with a cross as a crossbody bag. But the DGAZ one is adjustable, so I can carry it a little bit higher crossbody. And I think that just looks so cool and edgy, and it's more comfortable for me than wearing it on my back. But you can also attach the straps to the D-rings here and then it fits a little bit different and the fact that the DGAZ strap has um, D-rings on it you can you can attach it either way so you can change it up if you like one way one day and then the other way the other day so here you go if you attach it there it fits a little bit lower and this little top handle isn't affected. So I do think that I am going to do that eventually. I do plan to do a video on it, but I just haven't had, I haven't had the desire to do that video at the moment. And I really want to film videos that I'm passionate about and not film a video just to film a video. So that is why I haven't done it yet, but it will happen. Okay guys, the last bag that I have in my collection that is from a contemporary brand is also from Naomi Crafted. I didn't realize I had so many contemporary bags in my collection. This is a bag that she makes with Louis Vuitton um, repurposed denim. And when she sent me the photo of it and asked me if I wanted it, I told her I liked the style of the bag, but I didn't like the fact that it said Louis Vuitton on it. So she went ahead and made me this one instead, and I really like it. It actually houses all of my 
SLGs inside of here. So it's really cute. You can wear it as a crossbody bag or you can wear it as a shoulder bag. I prefer to wear it as a shoulder bag. It has a magnetic closure here. Let's see if I can show you guys. It's being a pain, it's being a pain. Here we go, magnetic closure. And then as I mentioned, it's just got my straps and my SLGs inside of here. It's lightweight, it's very comfortable. I will link the one that she has on her website with the Louis Vuitton on it. Maybe you can reach out to her and ask her to do one like this for you guys. I'm sure that she would be willing to do that for you guys if you ask. So I really, really enjoy this one. It's casual, it's comfortable, it fits all of my things, and I really enjoy it. How many times can I say I really enjoy it? Okay guys, that is everything in my contemporary handbag collection. Let me know down in the comments below if there are any brands that you absolutely love contemporary wise that you think that I should check out. My personal favorites are going to be number one choice is dress up your purse. Oh my gosh, you guys, I just realized that wasn't the last one. I have my other pink dress up your purse bag here. It's the same exact one as the black one, but it's a pink one. So dress up my purse is going to be my first favorite contemporary handbag company. And then my second favorite is Coach. I really, really love Coach. I do have another dress up your purse bag on the way. Well, it's a pre-order. And then I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to be a bad kid and order the navy blue one of this because I really, really love it. But let me know down in the comments below if there's any contemporary brands that I should check out that you absolutely love.